welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install and use mysql shell in visual studio code so let's get started at first make sure that you already have installed mysql and visual studio code on your system and then start the mysql service I am going to install MySQL shell extension in Visual Studio Code. So search for MySQL shell install MySQL shell for VS Code developed by Oracle Corporation. Install this extension. It may take a while for installing. MySQL shell for VS Code installed successfully. An icon name MySQL shell for VS Code. Now I am going to create a new connection. Now click on Next to continue installation of MySQL shell for VS Code. To install this certificate, select yes that's it installation completed now reload vs code window and then click on this now i'm going to create a new database connection click here to create a new connection enter the connection name here and then choose the default editor you can select db notebook or db script from this drop down list and then enter the host name or ip address and then enter the username in my case root and then enter the password for this username click on ok now click on ok new connection connected to the mysql database successfully now open new connection using notebook or script i'm going to open new connection using notebook to show the existing databases using this query show databases and execute this query click on this execution button that's it and also you can select new connection using sql script execute this script that's it now i'm going to create a new database so write this query create database enter the database name my db in my case you can save this query press ctrl s and save anywhere on your computer execute this script and show databases again and see my db database has been created successfully to create a new table into mydb database so at first use mydb and then write this query to create a new table inside mydb database here i'm going to write the table name 
students okay now i'm going to execute this script that's it to show the table definition write this query show create table and then write the table name execute this here you will see the table definition also you can display the structure of the students table just write this describe table name execute this that's it let's insert some data into the table so write this query insert into write the table name in my case students and then write the column name where you want to insert the data and then define the values okay now execute this script now i'm going to display the records of a student's table so write this query select i am going to display all the records of a student's table so write asterisk symbol from table name execute this that's it let's drop the table using this query if you want to drop the specific table then write table and then write the table name okay now execute this query script okay now test using this query script whether the students table has been deleted or not that's it students table does not exist now I am going to remove the mydb database from the mysql database so you don't need to use this script you just write drop database mydb in my case okay now execute this script now test so write show databases mydb database has been removed that's it if you are a new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial